I think there are two principles that the NDP has to focus on. One of them is the Irving family. Frankly, if you do not make the Irving family the central focus of an election in this province, you're just spinning your wheels. The reality is the government is Irving. The reality is that the Liberals and the Conservatives are both owned by Irving. Uh, the reality is that Irving has quite unconstitutionally declared himself a member of the government. He has declared himself the person to organize a provincial study group to plan the economic future of New Brunswick. That's none of his business. The economic future is our business. It's not just for Mr. Irving. Uh, he has also made his people the prime advisor to the finance minister. There's no point in discussing the economic uh, policies of the Liberals or the Conservatives. They don't make the policies. Mr. Irving does. And until you deal with that situation, there is no democracy in New Brunswick and no point to having elections. The question of Irving has to be settled. He has to understand, all of the Irvings have to understand, that they are citizens just like the rest of us, and they have one vote. And New Brunswickers have to have the courage to demand the democracy that our soldiers, we are told, died for. Uh, we have to deal with that first of all. The second thing is the basic idea of having principles, principles that you work from. What does your party believe in general about the nature of government and how we relate to each other? Without those principles, it's a waste of time to discuss specific policies or grand schemes or even action plans, as Mr. Harper is fond of saying. Uh, the reality is, anything you decide to do has to be based on a certain set of principles. Well, for example, let's take a, a religious one, and I'll select it because it's, though it's identified with Christianity in our minds, it's a, a principle of virtually every religion I ever heard of. Love your neighbor. We have a responsibility to care for each other. A society in which people do not care for each other will destroy itself as New Brunswick is destroying itself, frankly. You have to have that principle in place when you set your policies. If we have to care for each other, it's important and what is it that we need to do in order to care for each other? Well, I want to suggest what we have to do is not to give control of our forests to Irving. What we have to do is not to give overpriced contracts for icebreakers to Mr. Irving. And what we have to do is to care for those who need help in our society, to care for each other, to care for our children, to make sure that people like Mr. Irving don't take over control of our schools and turn them into profit mechanisms. This comes from a principle. So if, if I were in the NDP, I would be talking about what kinds of principles the NDP works from. I presume, I would hope, it works on the principle that one person has one vote and no people, no family are better than others in that respect. That's a starting point. Uh, I, I would hope that one of the principles would be that we should love each other and that we should care for each other. Uh, and I would expect another principle that if this is to be a democracy, we need to have access to the truth about what's happening. And we're not getting it. All of the newspapers are owned by one person, and they are designed to do think two things. One of them 
is to keep people trivial. I saw a headline just recently in the Times and Transcript, which was that the Wildcats are bidding for the Memorial Cup. I thought, wow, that's the big story for the day? It was the first one on page one. It just, just happens to be the, the day the American government shut down the economy. But that's not important enough to be a banner headline, no. All the Wildcats have done is submit a bid. That's it. Other people have submitted bids too. Maybe we'll get it, maybe we won't. But it's not headline news yet. The other thing about the paper is it deliberately withholds information. We've had virtually no information on shale gas. We have no idea what the Irvings cost us in terms of taxes lost, in terms of giveaways that we've offered to them. We have no idea. It may well be the biggest reason we have a deficit is because the Irvings have so much power. Whenever the newspaper looks at the question of, of the deficit, their immediate response is the poor people have to pay for it. Come on, it's not as if the poor are the ones who caused the recession. That was caused by the rich, by big banks, by big corporations. They not only caused it, they have wrecked the whole world economy and we're all paying the price with a much lower standard of living and a higher, higher level of poverty. This is bizarre. We have to state what our principles are, what kind of things we believe in. Then we say what we're going to do in order to believe those things. People have to become conscious that when they discuss politics and when they vote, what it's not about is, here's a good policy, here's a bad policy. What it's about is, what kind of a society do you believe in? What kind of principles should it operate on? Those are the two things the NDP has to do. One, it has to make the Irvings the central issue of the election because they are the central issue of the election. With them, exercising so much power, your election is a joke, and your democracy is a joke. It doesn't exist. That is a central issue. And from that, you have to work out the basic principles that you believe in and that you stand for. I think that's what they have to do.